Hi, my name is David Jones, and I'm lead pastor of Revolution Church. I want to thank you for joining us today for this brief devotional. I hope you enjoy it. Should you have any questions, you're welcome to contact us at therevolutionchurch.com. God bless you. I want to thank you for joining us for today. This is our first devotional related to God Spoke a Word, Respecting Other Faiths. Our topic this week is acknowledging the biases that we have that we bring into our study of religion and faith. And I will remember a story that just occurred actually several months ago with a friend of mine named Mike. Mike is one of my atheist friends in California. And he was, of course, giving me a hard time about being a person of faith and believing in God and just said, you know, you people of religion create all the problems in the world. You folks have done all this destruction. Look at all the evil things that you have done. And certainly on the surface, if you take a look at some things, we have done a lot of damage. We have created wars. We have created circumstances where there's been oppression. And yet, if you take a look at the amount of good that faith and people of religion have done, it far outweighs the destruction that has been done. In fact, the majority of destruction of this world and this planet has been done by secular people for secular purposes, for secular means, not motivated by their faith or their religion or their belief in God. Let me just tell you a statistic that was uh, given to me by a man named Samir Samanovich. Samir Samanovich, Samanovich is an uh, atheist, and he was studying all the reasons why he should hate religion. And he ended up coming to the opposite conclusion, that there's a tremendous amount to respect in religion. In fact, this man now worships every single Sunday in a church, not because he believes there's a God. He wishes he could believe that there's a God, but because he believes that the church and religion in general passes on things of value that are important to people, that transforms their lives. But as in his research, one of the things that he found is that people of faith, people who claim to have a relationship with God, double, double the number of people give to charity and almost three times the number of people believe in God volunteer their times. When they do give, they give three and a half times the amount of money to charity than people who do not have a faith or a relationship with God and they volunteer more than twice the number of hours per year of their time. This is how I think God transforms our lives. Yes, you can be moral without God. Yes, you can be a good person without believing that there's a God in the heavens who created everything that is. But I think that intimate relationship with God brings us in connection with one another, with other people, with that wonderful tapestry of humanity. It also connects us with that thing that, which, that transcends this universe, whatever that thing might be. Now, I happen to believe that thing is God who transcends the universe and created all that exists. But when we are connected and rooted and tapped into what transcends us, what is bigger than us, and when we're connected also with a tapestry of humanity, we care more deeply for one another. We give more of ourselves. And so I believe that's how my faith, my relationship with God, has transformed me. God bless you.